And time now to go to film school. Film study professor Joe Fortunato joins us on the show here on 93.5, 1590, WAKR. Stop being so good to me, Kevin. Don't you ever talk that way to me. Never! Never! What we've got here is failure to communicate. Some men... You just can't read. Well, that leads you into the movie that Joe Fortunato wants to talk about today. One of my favorites, Cool Hand Luke, and rated as one of the top in Paul Newman's career. Joe, thanks for joining us this morning, and give us the information on Cool Hand Luke. Well, good morning, Ray. Good morning, everybody. And, yeah, today we celebrate the 55th anniversary of Cool Hand Luke which was released November 1st, 1967. Uh, it was directed by Stuart Rosenberg, uh, written by Don Pierce and Frank Pearson, starred, of course, Paul Newman, also George Kennedy, who won a Best Supporting Actor Oscar, uh, as well as Struther Martin as the captain, who uh, delivers the famous line, what we have here is a failure to communicate, um, which was voted the number 11 movie quote of all time by the uh, American Film Institute. Uh, for those who aren't familiar with the film, it's about a sort of a laid-back Southern man, played by Paul Newman, who's sentenced to two years in a rural prison but refuses to conform. And uh, he uh, battles, of course, a, a battle of wit and, and will against uh, the prison establishment. Uh, I mentioned the, <clears throat> the line, what we have here, a failure to communicate, was uh, voted very high on the AFI list. Um, it's actually said, and you heard a little clip there, I believe, uh, by Struther Martin is what we have here is a is failure to communicate without the A. Uh, but then later on, uh, Paul Newman repeats the line with a failure to communicate. So it's one of those lines that can actually be quoted correctly either way, with or without the A. So uh, fun little bit of trivia there. <laughs> the uh, another famous scene in the film is uh, the hard boiled egg scene where Luke is challenged by his inmates to eat fifty eggs in one sitting, and um, they actually made about 200 hard-boiled eggs uh, for that scene. Paul Newman actually only ate about eight of those eggs uh, with clever editing. The rest were consumed by cast and crew, which uh, led to a little bit of flatulence the next day uh, on the set. Um, according to George Kennedy, when they filmed the boiled egg scene, uh, director Stuart Rosenberg yelled, cut, and Paul Newman immediately vomited into a garbage can. So uh, there's a little bit of movie magic for you. Um, Stuart Rosenberg, uh, the, as I said, the director, he actually viewed Luke's character as sort of a stand-in for Jesus Christ. So there's a, a lot of Christian imagery uh, in the film. Um, Luke is sort of seen as a savior by the other convicts. He, he gives them hope. Um, after the egg-eating contest that we just mentioned, he's laid out on a table in a posture sort of resembling uh, Jesus' crucifixion. His prison number is 37, which is a reference to the Bible verse, Luke 137, which is, for with God nothing shall be impossible. So there's a lot, quite a bit of Christian imagery and in, in, uh, relevance in the film. One of the uh, um, interesting things is that they built, uh, it was shot in um, California, northern California, and, but they built a southern prison camp uh, set for the movie, you know, a dozen buildings were constructed, barracks, mess hall, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, well, but, but it was so convincing and so real that a, uh, a county building inspector was passing by and thought it was a real, uh, recently constructed migrant workers complex. And he posted a condemned notice on the building because it wasn't up to code. Joe Fortunato is with us, film school professor. The movie is Cool Hand Luke. And, Joe, when you get into the cast of Prisoners, there are some young actors in this movie that really uh, went on to prominence. You know, I think of Dennis Hopper in this movie, Wayne Rogers, Ralph Waite, Joe Don Baker, and, of course, George Kennedy I thought was terrific in the movie. Yeah, and, and as I mentioned, George Kennedy won uh, an Oscar, his only Oscar, for Best Supporting Actor. Um, and <clears throat> he said his salary multiplied by 10 the minute he won. And he also 
uh, said the happiest part was that he didn't have to play villains anymore. Uh, <laughs> so it was a, a good deal for him. Um, another uh, famous scene in the movie, I'll talk about some more about casting in a moment, but another famous scene in the movie, of course, is uh, when is the car wash scene where um, the actress Joy Harmon plays the sexy woman washing the car and she's kind of teasing all the convicts, um, which has sort of become a very uh, a very famous scene in the movie. And she said that when she filmed, J- jo- I'm sorry, Joey Harmon said that when she filmed the scene, uh, she had no idea it was going to be that suggestive. Uh, she said it never really occurred to her until she saw it in the theater. She said, she was, I thought I was just washing a car. Uh, and she was sort of naive and innocent and not really trying to be sexy. Um, but uh, after seeing it at the premiere, she was a little bit embarrassed. Uh, Kennedy, George Kennedy, again, in, a, in an interview, said that uh, the, the scenes were filmed separately. So her washing the car and the convicts uh, sort of, um, you know, mesmerized by her were actually filmed in two separate days. So they weren't even together. And in fact, there was an unpaid uh, schoolgirl who was wearing a large overcoat, mind the scene, forcing the actors to use their imagination as they ogled her on camera. So they weren't even even looking at Joy Harmon when they did that scene. (laughs) Okay, more about casting. Yeah, well, um, this is sort of casting and producing. Uh, Jack Lemmon uh, was actually going to play the part of Luke, but after reading the script, he noticed that Paul Newman really would be better, so he decided to produce it instead. So... Jack Lemmon is actually uh, one of the producers of this film. Um, Betty Davis was offered the role of Luke's mother, but she refused the part because it's uh, too small. And, and uh, Telly Savalas was considered for either Luke or Dragline, mm. but he was in Europe filming The Dirty Dozen, so he couldn't come back and do it. Very cool. Cool hand Luke. And I read somewhere, too, Joe, that it was Paul Newman, one of his favorite roles, that he loved that role. Yeah, and, and it really is, you know, one of his signature roles. I mean, he has many, but mm-hmm. I think uh, it's one that people remember. And, and for those who aren't aware, um, and for our Ohio listeners, Paul Newman is from Shaker Heights, Ohio, near Cleveland. He went to Ohio U. Uh, he actually got kicked out of Ohio U. Uh, his, his family owned a sporting goods store uh, in the in the Shaker Heights area, so uh there's some Ohio roots there with Paul Newman. All right, there you go. Film School today, the movie Cool Hand Luke with film study professor Joe Fortunato. That will be up at WAKR.net momentarily. Joe, as always, thanks for the time and the visit, my friend. We'll reconnect next Friday. Thanks, Ray. See you all next week. There you go. Joe Fortunato, film study professor, joins us Fridays on the Ray Horner Morning Show on WAKR.